Hey guys, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in for another video. This is the second time I'm recording this video because the first time I record it, half of the audio doesn't work. So that's good and fresh. Love that for me. Um, anyway, in today's video, we're going to talk about Jeffree Star. I know we don't really talk about Jeffree Star anymore because he's not really involved in that much drama anymore, you guys. Anytime we ever bring up Jeffree Star, we're really pulling at straws here because we need some content to talk about. And you guys like to hear about Jeffree, but he has really honestly been scared scandal free for a long time. Um, so yeah, um, anyway, in this video, we're talking about Jeffree Star's appearance on the BFFs podcast with Dave Portnoy and Josh Richards. I had never heard of this podcast before today. I'm just going to be completely honest with you. No shade to them, peace and love, but I'd never heard of it. Anyway, he went on the podcast and I thought it was really interesting. So I thought we'd talk about it. If you're interested in hearing more about that, then make sure that you keep on watching. have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working but there's something inside of you that says so yeah, so Jeffrey went on this podcast and they talked about a lot of different things on there. They talked about his relationship with Shane and other beauty influencers. They talked about his makeup brand. They talked about getting canceled and all of that. And I thought we would just kind of talk about like the major points that I took away from it. So like uh, the first thing that I really thought was kind of interesting and it he kind of made a good point was uh, they were talking about just being canceled and all of that and how it's one of those things where people with Jeffree Star, they keep bringing up the same old stuff every six months to try and like in, end his career or cancel him or whatever. And I, in that moment when he said that, I kind of felt for him, right? Because, because I'm putting myself in his shoes at that point and I'm thinking to myself like, well, if I was an influencer on the scale of Jeffree Star, I know that I said things when I was younger that I regret. I know that I'm not the same person that I was back then. Not that I was this crazy, racist, you know, insensitive, like awful person back then, but I just had a lot of growing to do as a person in, in regards to sensitivity towards people. And so I kind of felt for him that in that situation because if I was, you know, just trying to live my life and do the things and, and make a living for myself and, you know, my, my, the way I make my living is being this like social media influencer and having my cosmetics brand. But then people keep bringing up things I said, you know, 10 years ago or whatever, uh, every six months. And I would feel pretty much the same way he, um, he does right now. Now I'm not excusing any of that behavior by any means. If you guys have watched my channel in the past, I think that you know where I stand as far as Jeffrey's past behavior goes. And if you don't, um, know about that content, cause you're pretty new here, then I encourage you to go watch my, uh, video. I did uh, back when this drama with Jeffrey was all going on because I do have some strong opinions on them. And while the core uh, opinion of that stays true, I have been taking more of an objective standpoint these days uh, as to how I look at these influencers and kind of trying to humanize them a little bit and realize that, you know, everybody does mess up and everybody makes mistakes and everybody has those days. Everybody knows what, what I'm talking about. Everybody gets that way. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Little Hannah Montana for you guys, and I hope I don't get a copyright strike because I know it was a very, very good uh, recreation of that song, um, Nobody's Perfect by Hannah Montana. So I hope that I don't get a copyright claim. But anyway, yeah, they also talked about Jeffree Star's like business and everything, and he made some interesting comments uh, about that that I thought was just kind of funny. So he said that while when he was like the most canceled that he's ever been, how his makeup was thriving, and that even though people hated him. They loved his makeup. And while I can kind of agree with that, because even when I was like, oh my God, I hate Jeffree Star. I would never support Jeffree Star again. Da, 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 da. When I was on that train, uh, I still was wearing his liquid lips. But you know why? Because they're good. I was still using the concealer because they were good and I spent money on them. As far as the eyeshadow palettes, I, I'll tell you, I did occasionally reach for him. I was trying my hardest not to reach for him. And thank God I have so many other palettes that I didn't. But I was using the liquid lips. I was using the concealer. I was using the products that I had by him because they're good products, you guys. So I can kind of understand that. But he said that the business was thriving. And that's kind of where I was like, like question mark a little bit because and no doubt in my mind do I think that Jeffree Star Cosmetics is doing very well. I think they're doing amazing. But back in the day, I mean, I waited in line outside of Morphe multiple times to get 
to get makeup from Jeffree Star before it sold out online. There was a time where you basically had to be lucky to get it online when it came out, when it was released, because if you would have like, you just couldn't get it. It sold out in minutes, right? And like, if you got it, then you'd be like waiting in the queue and then maybe you wouldn't get it. And it's just like, or the website would crash or whatever. And like, it was like a thing, right? So that's not the case anymore. Nowadays, he's running a lot of sales on his products, which is good, good business. And maybe he's doing that because of the inventory he has from COVID and sales were down because of COVID-19. We're not wearing as much makeup during COVID and all that. So maybe he's doing that because, you know, he wants to get rid of this inventory so that um, it doesn't go bad because makeup will go bad, you know, and he wants to sell it in a timely manner for us instead of having to, um, toss it or take a loss on it. So it's possible that he's doing that. But uh, yeah, I, thought, I found that just very interesting that he said the business was thriving. Because when I think of Jeffree Star Cosmetics thriving, I think of how it was when the Conspiracy Palette launched and how it was just like everything. And like everyone wanted their hands on Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And like you could not get certain launches. It was very, very hard to get certain things. And nowadays, that's just honestly not the case. That's no shade. It's just the real tea. I mean, go look on his website and see for yourself things are not sold out like they used to be I'm sure maybe some things are but in generally speaking things are not sold out like they used to be back in the day then they started talking about relationships and friendships and all of that and they brought up Shane Dawson girl they brought up Shane Dawson and they asked him if they're still friends and Jeffrey confirmed Jeffrey said yeah we're still friends I saw him last week he's in Mexico right now drinking martinis on the beach so so that um, was very interesting. So that shows me that this podcast was filmed a few couple weeks ago because I think that Shane has been back from Mexico for a while or maybe he's still there. I'm not sure. But I know that he was in Mexico a little while ago when Morgan was watching the house and everyone was had this conspiracy theory that they got that they eloped in Mexico or whatever. But yeah, um, he said that they're still friends and he said that Shane was taking a some time away to reflect and grow and work on himself uh, based on everything that happened after the conspiracy palette launch with that big drama and everything and how he made a very similar comparison to what they were doing to him they did to Shane as well only we all know that with Shane it was on a much bigger scale because Shane has a lot a lot a lot of older content on the on YouTube that is very controversial and honestly just pretty crappy and like not the version of Shane Dawson that we know today, okay? Um, I'm, I, I, I'm again, I'm not gonna change up the energy on that. I'm gonna keep the same energy. I, I feel the same way about the Jeffree Star thing that I do the Shane Dawson thing at this point, right? And while I do not think it's okay that he kept those videos up as long as he did to profit off of them for as long as he did, I will still push for the fact that he has not displayed that kind of behavior in a very long time. And so I don't know Shane Dawson. I don't know what kind of person he is in real life. I just don't. Uh, but I, I do have to just kind of keep the same energy with that and say that if I was in Shane Dawson's shoes and people were bringing up stuff from my past the way that they did about him, uh, I would, I would be upset. Um, I would need to do some reflecting, and I would, you know, be kind of frustrated that things just kept being brought up all the time, you know. And the thing with Shane Dawson was everything that he ever did was brought up at once. I mean, people started digging and digging and digging, and they found every little thing that he's ever done, and they brought it to light. And he just got canceled, quote unquote, in the one of the biggest ways I have seen on the internet. And, you know, uh, Jeffrey said he was taking some time to reflect and stuff. And they asked, do you think Shane's going to come back to YouTube? And Jeffrey replied, yeah, absolutely. I think that he's put in a lot of work to his YouTube channel over the years, and he's been extremely successful. And Jeffrey doesn't think that Shane would throw that all away. Um, and I kind of agree, you know, I don't think that Shane would leave the internet after all the success and stuff that he's built. I think that he's a creative uh, person and he needs a creative outlet and I think that he will have his YouTube always need to have his YouTube channel for his creative outlet like that uh, Jeffrey did say that he um, that he is planning to come back but there's no set date for it so it's not going to be like in the fall or like a set date for a comeback but that he is working on something now my conspiracy theory allegedly is that Jeffrey knows a lot more about uh, Shane's comeback than he's telling on this interview and that is something that I would expect from Jeffrey
Jeffrey. I wouldn't expect him to spill all the tea on Shane's comeback. You know what I'm saying? If they're really friends in real life, then when your friend has something they're working on behind the scenes, like you don't just spill the tea on that like that um, to the public. You know, <laughs> you keep those things to yourself and, um, and it's their business to share with the world, not for you to expose unless they want you to expose it and they tell you to for a little drama. But I don't think that's the case with this. So uh, you cannot tell me that Jeffrey doesn't know a little bit more than he's letting on about Shane's comeback. I believe he knows probably a lot of the details on it, honey, okay? Then Nikita Dragon comes up, right? And that was very interesting tea because we haven't heard Nikita Dragon and Jeffree Star in the same sentence in a really long time, right? Not since like the times of Manny MUA and Laura Lee and Gabriel Zamora, that whole drama that happened back in the day, the original drama Getting Girl. We haven't heard their names together in a long, long time. Basically, Nikita Dragon popped up in the conversation because apparently the podcast had her on very recently as well. And apparently um, they asked, like, are you and Jeffrey friends to Nikita? And she said, well, some people just aren't meant to be friends. <laughs> and I, you know what? Mature little statement from Nikita. You know, some people aren't meant to be friends. OK, there you go. Um, and Jeffrey kind of agreed. They're not friends anymore. Some people aren't meant to be friends. But he did decide to throw in just a little bit of shade there in typical Jeffrey Star fashion. And I thought that was kind of funny. So he was like, you know, some pe I did help her out a lot back in the day. And, you know, you can't deny that. And some people won't want to admit that. But I did help her out a lot back in the day to get her channel running and to gain a following. And so it basically saying that he helped her get to the level that she is, which is kind of funny. I mean, he did have her on the channel a lot when, uh, when, when they were a long, long, long time ago, right? When they were both a lot smaller than they are now. And she was much smaller, still is much smaller than he is today, creator wise. But I mean, I thought that was just kind of like a little, little shady, you know, he's throwing a little bit of shade in there. Oh, you want to say we're not supposed to be friends? You want to bring my name up into this honey? Well, here you go. You know, and I thought that was very, I thought that was kind of funny. I thought that was a little like um, classy way of being a little shady. So I kind of thought that was cute. But yeah, um, anyway, that was pretty much the art, the uh, interview that he did. And I always say article when I mean interview. I have no idea what's wrong with me, you guys. I do not know words. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, let me know what you think about all of that drama in the comment section down below. Um, what do you think about Jeffrey talking about Shane's comeback? Do you think he knows more than he's letting on about Shane's comeback? And what do you um, think about the Nikita and Jeffrey thing? Let me know all of your thoughts on all of that in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed today's video, you guys, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified of all of my future videos when they do post. And you can follow me on all of my social media at Beauty by Shelby. That's TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all at Beauty by Shelby. And I'll leave that right up there on the screen for you so you can see it. If you're enjoying today's video and want to see more, then YouTube should be suggesting a couple videos down below for you to choose from. So I'd love it if you did that. But if you're just here to catch up on the Jeffree Star drama, then that's totally cool too, girl. Love you so. Appreciate your view anyway. Thank you so much for watching today's video, you guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. You have to be your biggest fan. And... When things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says...